Hello, I'm Macy Owen Rogers, Director for the Department of Economic Development, City of East Point. And we are here today on our very first inst installation of Moving Dirt. And my special guest here today is Mr. Darren King, Deputy City Manager, I should say, for the City of East Point. Good morning, how are you doing? Good morning, Maiso. Thank you for having me here today for your first segment. I'm glad to be here today. Well, fantastic. We're very excited to have you here, and we are very excited to know about all the things and hear about all of the things, wonderful things that are going on in the city of East Point. So you got this new fantastic city hall project that I understand is going on. Yes, yes. Can, you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I can start out by telling you this project has been a long awaited project for the city. It is going to be a two phase project. You have phase one, which is the development of the new city hall. It's going to be located at the intersection of East Point Street and Cleveland Avenue. And it's going to be roughly 32,000 square feet. You're going to have a project which is sustainable, mm -hmm. sustainable development. And if you look behind me here, make sure I brought a nice picture to show yeah. you and all of our uh, look onlookers today. This will be a rent. This is a rendering of the front of portion of the picture of the city hall. You're going to have uh, a nice green space, which will have up to 10,000 residents, which you can accommodate at any time for activities, events all types of activities, it'll be a, a, the centerpiece for this whole project. And so it's sustainable, as I mentioned, it's an earthcraft commercial development, which will allow for a green initiative wow. uh, of the project. It's the starting with a process where we have a uh, architect and a representative from South Face, which is the uh, company that is putting the East Earthcraft project together. And uh, we'll make sure that we have a uh, type of project that we think citizens will be proud of. Second phase is the restoration of the city auditorium. Wow. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited about what we've got going forward here. I bet uh, you are. They already broke the ground. Uh -huh. We're already starting the site work right now mm -hmm. as we speak. I'm excited, man. As it's going on, it is really I exciting. Can, I can tell. This is uh, very exciting. We're looking yeah. for a construction completion date of sometime in the fall, winter of 2018. <laughs> so really excited about the project. That is very, very good, and I understand that this project has been a, a kind of a long time in, in coming. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the challenges that you experienced uh, along the way? Well, I can tell you, I think the main thing was making sure that we got something that we wanted all of our citizens, all of our uh, elected officials and a uh, part of, we wanted them to take ownership of that project. So what we did mm -hmm. was we actually had what we called a scurret. Mm -hmm. A charrette in which we had an open house, we invited uh, representatives from various organizations, neighborhood mm -hmm. association presidents, we invited obviously our mayor and council employees to come over and we had several renderings of city halls mm -hmm. throughout the Atlanta metropolitan area mm -hmm. to give them a vari variation of what they might want to see mm -hmm. in their city hall project. Mm -hmm. In that process we found that they wanted something that provided for a lot of green space mm -hmm. because we want to be an area that is walkable, one which uh, can be a, a gathering for many of our residents mm -hmm. and community groups mm -hmm. and so we found something that we felt provided for that type of initiative where we could have green space, we could have meeting room areas, uh, we can have a, pro a, a program, programs there on various events and activities. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of cut through any type of a, a possible conflicts we may have had because we wanted yeah. the ownership from the very beginning. Wow, that's great. That is fantastic. Now you mentioned that uh, it provides a gathering place for the citizens of East Point. And I know that East Point is one of those transit-oriented uh, communities, uh, mm -hmm. transit-oriented development communities, I should say. So uh, me, me, being that MATA is like just a stone's throw away, what will that mean for the new city hall to be located where it is uh, with respect to now MATA being located where it is? What what that mean for people coming to and from? You know, we have a couple of street, street day projects which will also be ongoing during the same time. Mm -hmm. So East, uh, East Point Street, for example, we'll see some development work going on there. Mm -hmm. It's going to become more walkable. Wow. And it's going to yeah. slow down traffic along that area. Yeah. So if you're coming off the MARTA bus station line, mm -hmm. you come across the street, you're going to find as years progress, particularly starting in 2019, mm -hmm. a walkable mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. that's connected to our new city hall uh -huh. that makes it user friendly for pedestrians get out their cars yes, yes. And, and stop at the stores wow. they'll open that up for our, our businesses as well mm -hmm. so that they'll have more walk-in visitors 
And so also we're bringing into the downtown air over a hundred employees, oh, wow. which are currently Fantastic. scattered across our entire metropolitan area within our city limits. Wow! So that in and of itself will provide for more opportunities for mm -hmm. employees to be a part of the downtown, bring mm -hmm. more life, more activities mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. downtown. And, and it's going to be really exciting to see. Wow, wow. Well, I tell you what, you know, business investment is certainly one of my things. And uh, uh, knowing that we have a number of thriving businesses downtown, what will this mean for the business community? I mean, in terms of uh, uh, prosperity and, and, of course, new uh, future investments coming to the city. Well, it shows that we as a city personally have taken ownership of stock within our own downtown. Mm -hmm. And if we're investing in our downtown, then that shows other developers, other potential uh, people who would like to come into our downtown that we have taken personal ownership and in investing in our own downtown. Wow. And so with having us be the centerpiece of that, mm -hmm. right there in the epicenter of our city, it lets other people know that we really take this as a valuable centerpiece for our overall city because if our downtown thrives, yes. then we thrive as a city. Wow. So with that going forward, and then after that completion, make sure mm -hmm. we start into the city auditorium. Oh, man, it's going to oh, be wow. great to see. Now that wow. we hope to start while this project is wrapping up. So you'll see, if say around construction completion mm -hmm. is next year uh, at, say, the fall of 2018. Yes. We'd like to see the city auditorium start that project and move forward sometime probably maybe in the late summer of wow. next year. So wow. be continuous work going on, continuous activity as well. So that activity, we're gonna have you gotta remember too now. We got mm -hmm. construction workers down there, mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. we got local vendors, and I can tell you that's a that's a piece that we really value in our mayor council values. We want to have local participation in this construction project wow. as well. So from that local participation, from the fact that we're locating our downtown air, making it more walkable for yes. our citizens, for our community as a whole, bringing employees downtown wow. who will eat at the local restaurants and can walk to and from those activities, from those businesses, it's going to really make a big difference and a oh, ripple effect. I totally agree. And of course, you know, we know that these projects uh, cannot possibly take flight without good, solid leadership. And you mentioned leadership. Uh, uh, what is unique about this group of leaders that 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 makes them so special in terms of the, the, the impact that they have on projects such as this. Well, I, I tell you what makes them special is they have a personal uh, stock in seeing the city grow. They really want this city to, to thrive, and they all believe that we have a great future ahead of us. And uh, for me, as a deputy manager, as our manager Frederick Gardner, believe, mm -hmm. you know, we are only as good as the people who support us and who yes. we support. And we have a great team, starting with our mayor, our council, and our citizens. Yes. yes. In making this work, and our department heads as well. Yes. You all played a role in seeing this go forward too. Yes. And yes. so I can tell you, we really have been very fortunate to have that type of connectivity between every aspect, every sector within our city to make this work. And I'm excited about it. Wow. Well, I can tell that the excitement just continues to blossom, which is a very, very good thing for the city. Now, uh, moving forward, in terms of um, the, uh, the growth of the city, uh, do you feel that this will have like a, a, a rippling effect throughout the city? I know that we have uh, Camp Creek Marketplace, for example, which is uh, uh, a few miles away from here. But what overall citywide impact do you think this new city hall now will bring to the city as a whole? Well, I, I think for one, it shows that we have a, a working relationship with other contractors, mm -hmm. uh, other vendors from within our city. We want to them to be, know that we believe in investment within our own municipality. Mm -hmm. I think that when you see that, the ripple effect will be that you'll see other businesses want to come downtown. And we're starting to see some of that. Yes. We're yes. starting to see some yes. of that, which we're going to get into with your project. Uh -huh. You know, and so I can tell you from that perspective, with what we have going on downtown besides City Hall, mm -hmm. which we got going on now, yes. and the project we're about to talk about, mm -hmm. oh, it's just going to just expand from there. Absolutely. And so uh, we're seeing some of that ripple effect right now go forward throughout, forward throughout the city. So I'm excited. Boy, that is very good, and it's very exciting. I mean, I can I can really feel the intensity of the excitement that you uh, that you speak of, which I know is very very uh, prevalent throughout the community. Because everywhere you go, everybody is talking about all the great and wonderful things that are going on in the city, things that are happening, things that are uh, uh, being seen, and and uh, the people are just really ecstatic about this whole movement now. 
that the city of East Point has uh, taken place. And uh, we know that that will continue to be uh, the case without a doubt. Now, with respect to some of the other new business investments that have taken place, uh, Windmill Arts uh, Center, for example, uh, just recently opened. Can you talk a little bit about uh, that performing arts center in terms of uh, what that then means to the city and how, it, it, how all this synergy comes together for the greater good? Well, you know, culture is very important to a, mm -hmm. any city, it's the fabric of your city. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you can provide for the arts and expanding it within your city, creativity mm -hmm. uh, that comes with that, uh, you're attracting a different niche within mm -hmm. your city as well. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot to do with that as well, having them come here. And so, you know, it does make a difference when you show that you're bringing in other niches within the marketplace, other ways in which citizens can be active in the city. Yes, yes. Uh, think about it. Yes. I mean, you're talking about not just governmental yes. or, or just some, some business sides, but you're also talking about an art, artistic, creative side. Yes. That, yes. Uh, as you know, that has its own community. And so you're developing now a diversified community mm -hmm. within our city on all levels. Wow. And that's really what we're trying to get at, that yes. diversified community where we can have participants on various aspects, growing our city, developing our city, and I might go over there and do some artistic work myself. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I, I have mean, no doubt. Hey, <laughs> if I can grow myself personally, I'm going to try to do it. So it really does send a message to anyone out there that East Point is open for business on all levels, on all levels. every wow. facet of the wow. community. Wow. And uh, hey, you never know, we might become the hot spot for that type you of never know. You never know. And, and of course, to your point, uh, you make such a beautiful connection uh, with uh, respect to the arts and culture. Uh, now, East Point has become a hotbed for the film and movie industry. Uh, and uh, you can ride through downtown at any given day of the week and see the movie trucks and the crews uh, all about and uh, very uh, action-packed things going on. Um, how has that changed the, the city uh, with respect to now all of this movie industry type stuff going on? Well, as you know, I think Georgia may be the number one spot in the country now for filming and development. You see on these shows that you watch, at the end they show that Georgia peach mm -hmm. that they show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And well, we're right up in the middle of that peach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you have a lot to do. I want you to talk all about that yourself. But hey, I mean, you look at, the, look at some of the shows which are filming here. Not, a lot of our residents don't realize we have that, that Stranger Things Netflix series yes. uh -huh. that's filmed uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. I don't know if you're a Walking Dead fan. Well, um, yes, I some am. Some people yeah. are walking, you know, they have yeah. a huge fight. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and, uh -huh. um, you know, we've had some, some feelers from them, other filming opportunities. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. I tell you, uh, you know, we might be an extra ourselves. <laughs> you show. never can tell. Hey, we might be to do, <laughs> we do multi multitasking. But, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'm proud of what we've been able to do and what you and your team have been able to do. And I know you're going to talk a little bit about yes. what you've done. Yes. Particularly yes. Uh, like Malibu Point. Yes, you had to. I want yes. you to talk a little bit about that. Tell us about how that. Absolutely. Gone. Well, Malibu Point, of course, uh, uh, has been just a little bit now over two years in the making, and I can tell you, uh, it has been rock steady ever since it got started. Uh, really, it was uh, that whole concept kind of came out of one of our uh, real estate business forums that we conducted uh, back in 2015. And um, from that point to about 20 months later, uh, we held and staged a groundbreaking, uh, which you were a part of. Yes. And, yeah. uh, and now, of course, they are just a few months away from uh, the grand opening of that facility. 67 units, uh, uh, workforce uh, development, uh, workforce housing. Uh, it's a mixed-use development, residential on the top, and of course, mix, uh, retail on the bottom. So we're very excited about that because it's going to uh, uh, be a nice kind of intro into the uh, downtown area of East Point, uh, coming uh, 29 south from the uh, uh, city of, uh, of Atlanta. And so, don't you have some businesses already located in there too? Many yes, shows? yes. So we, we have, uh, we have uh, a couple of businesses that are already uh -huh. signed up um, upon opening. And of course, the uh, the units themselves are being leased as we speak. Oh, they are. Yes. Yeah, so the the hope is that they will be uh, anywhere between eighty and eighty five percent 
uh, pre-leased by the time that they actually opened. So uh, the last time that I actually uh, conversed with the developer, they had a uh, uh, just over 300 or uh, so uh, individuals um, that were looking to be interviewed to get into one of those units. Wow. So that says a lot. I mean, 67 units and you got more than 300 folk lining up to uh, be a part of it. So very excited about that project indeed. When is the opening date estimated right now? Well, it was it was initially set for end of this year, mm -hmm. um, uh, which would mean, you know, uh, next mm -hmm. month. But mm -hmm. I think that like, likely right now we're looking at maybe first quarter next so year. In the spring of next year? Exactly, yes. And so there'll be a nice big splash about that. And mm -hmm. so we're looking forward to uh, a very good big day here in the city of East Point with that project. And now you've just, just, you just hit the tip of the spear now. You've got a bunch of other good stuff going on, too. We, we do. Well, you know, we recently, uh, most recently, most recently, we had the, uh, uh, the grand open of the uh, Common Market Georgia. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, an organization, it's a nonprofit, but it's an organization that connects local farmers um, to, uh, towards providing fresh produce and, and, and such as uh, vegetables and fruits to schools and hospitals uh, uh, for, um, uh, for those institutions that need that on a daily basis. And it provides a really great um, uh, connection between local farmers that may not necessarily will have had that kind of opportunity if it weren't for this particular uh, organization. So very excited about that. Um, uh, they, uh, they have a 60,000 square feet facility right over on Oakley uh, uh, Drive, uh, which is over in the Oakley Industrial Park area. So Has that opened yet at all? Yes, it's yes. Already open. And it's already opening and uh, open and they, uh, uh, they, their trucks are going in and out every day and delivering uh, fresh produce. And uh, wow. so they have the shipments come in and they, of course, dispense from that point uh, throughout uh, the region here. So we're very excited about that. And then, of course, earlier, you know, we, we spoke, you, uh, you alluded to the uh, Windmill Arts Center, uh -huh. um, that facility, an 80-seat mm -hmm. uh, theater uh, facility, uh, just recently opened up in downtown uh, East Point, and um, it has both a black box and white box, black box for the uh, uh, theatrical kind mm -hmm. of plays and, mm -hmm. and uh, events that they will conduct, mm -hmm. and, of course, the white box for um, readings, uh, dances, uh, classes, um, um, webcasting and things like mm -hmm. that, pro podcasts, uh, mm -hmm. those type of events. So mm -hmm. very excited about that uh, because they are definitely making uh, some headway in the downtown area. Now, you know, I love sweets and uh, you brought some business, one business here, was it last year, make sure that just, just, just sweats your appetite? Yes, the, the, yes, yes, yes. I can't wait to open my city, the city hall, because I can just go over there anytime <laughs> I want. <laughs> like a cupcakery, uh, there's another one. Cu cupcake was that last one. year? It seemed like it's been open for a little longer, but yeah, they've been award-winning, I think. Now. Yes, and, and they are doing a, a, a thriving business, without a doubt. Um, we've ordered, uh, of course, numerous times um, oh, their yes. product uh, to serve here for various meetings yes. and whatnot. And Helps us exercise more. Because yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can never get enough we're, of that. Well, right? we got to invest our own business. We, we That's what we got to do locally. We, have to, we, we, we have to. We have yeah. to. So we're very excited about uh, uh, Cupcakery and, and all of the other businesses that are downtown as well. Uh, we are working with some existing businesses that are looking to either expand or relocate uh, into a, a larger facility. And so we have several that we are working on uh, and working with along those lines. Uh, Arden's Garden, matter of yes. fact, is headquartered here. And that is one of our local businesses that um, uh, is not only headquartered here, but is also expanding within the, the city limits of East Point. So we're very excited about Arden's, Arden's Garden because out of all of the locations that they have throughout the metro region, uh, this is their number one performing uh, location, which is right down on Main Street. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that too, Main Street, because a lot of people don't realize that just how far reaching their business is outside yes. of the city limits. Absolutely. And a credit is owed to both you and your team in having them expand here. Yes. Uh, and having them be entrenched here. How long have they been in the city limits? They've been here for a while. Well, they've been here for, for years. Uh, I think they, uh, they located, um, uh, obviously, uh, uh, over a decade ago here in the city of uh, in East Point. Uh, but they've been in, in, for, uh, in existence for a few years. Uh, but they, uh, they, 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 they landed here in East Point and decided to make that their headquarters. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we're excited about the fact that not only um, uh, with respect to their expansion, they decided to uh, uh, maintain the existing store. 
So they'll have actually two locations here within the city of East Point, which we're very, very proud about. So uh, the new location, of course, is over on Sylvan Road. Uh -huh. And uh, they too are planning it very soon to be announced a grand opening and of the new location. And of course, we want to make a big splash with that. Um, lights, cameras, you know, a lot oh, of kind of stuff. Gotta be there. Yeah, and, and feature those guys uh, based on the wonderful things uh, that they're doing. I think they'll be bringing on about 40 new jobs. 40 new uh, jobs? About 40 new jobs. And the uh, facility uh, that they're uh, moving into will, of course, um, uh, they'll acquire will acquire more than 100,000 square feet uh, where they'll do manufacturing, distribution, and retail out of that facility, as well as, again, maintaining the, the facility over on Main Street wow. in so, downtown. So how many, how many jobs do they currently have within their current business? Uh, they have about 30 plus jobs right now. People don't realize so, they're going to have, they're going up close to 100 jobs. There you go. There you in go. the city limits. In the city. In the city bringing. limits. And yeah. so that will do much for our uh, tax base, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it will do much for our uh, unemployment rate because mm -hmm. we're getting more people back on, on the payroll. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, it will do much for our quality of living mm -hmm. because uh, with an enhanced tax base, then, mm -hmm. you know, we can maintain those good city services that the, uh, uh, yes. the city leadership uh, provides for all of our citizens and, uh, and our businesses mm -hmm. without a doubt. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited about all these great and wonderful mm -hmm. things uh, that are going on in the city. Well, do you want to spell on a few more, some of the other areas that you're looking at right now? Because there are some other uh, yes. areas that you're looking to expand into yes. the city too. Well, you know, just think about uh, in the downtown area, for example, the, uh, uh, the implementation of the LCI uh, uh, that we got, mm -hmm. which was about $7.3 mm -hmm. um, in funding, uh, will allow us to expand um, our sidewalks, add in pedestrian lanes, bike lanes, uh, do streetscaping and landscaping, which is going to really beautify and enhance the downtown area. Uh, from there, we have the expansion of uh, uh, East Point uh, Ace Hardware, uh, which is expanding into a, a new facility, which will be right over on, on Washington Road. They are really going through the design stage right now. Mm -hmm. We're very excited about that particular project and uh, are looking forward to working with them diligently as they move uh, the project uh, forward. They will um, uh, be moving into a 12,000 plus square feet facility uh, about double the size of where they are right now. Uh -huh. And again, this is an expansion, not a uh, moving out of the right. city type thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, they will be adding some new jobs uh, with that particular project as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, even out in the Camp Creek area, mm -hmm. uh, we have the um, Four Points by Sheraton uh, Hotel oh, yeah. uh, that is under construction. And uh, we're very excited about that project. Uh, right next door to it is, uh, to that is the uh, uh, cactus car wash that is under construction and um, uh, we'll be uh, bringing on board a new restaurant there as well. Mm -hmm. And then of course when you really just kind of get into you know that area you, uh, you're very aware and uh, familiar with the fact that we have the Diversion Diamond Interchange right. uh, that yeah. is uh, uh, to soon be mm -hmm. under construction mm -hmm. which will uh, basically mitigate a lot of the traffic congestion that we got out there mm -hmm. in the area right now, which is a good thing. I mean, obviously that lets us know that um, things are happening. Uh, uh -huh. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of buzz out in the uh, Camp Creek Market area, but you do want to be able to get on and get off that uh, exit ramp when you, when yes. you want to. <laughs> and as we know, traffic is very congested over there. You know, Absolutely. one thing that you have yet to mention, people don't realize you give a tour to businesses. Yes. That, yes. Con that are conducted several times a year. Yes. And I was fortunate to be a part of one. I didn't realize just how big that was. Did you want to talk a little bit yeah, about that? Yeah, well, you know, part of our aggressive marketing campaign is that we, uh, we conduct, uh, you know, bus tours uh, along with um, uh, our small business symposium, uh, along with our real estate forum that we do. And of course, the bus tours really play into the fact that we uh, we can invite you know statewide uh, project managers down, for example, and give them an update on what's going on within the city of East Point. We can talk about our programs and services, incentives and policies, uh, the things that we can do to help businesses come here and succeed. And of course, uh, developers, uh, which is a big big target for us. Uh, we want to invite them down uh, each year as well to uh, let them know about the various opportunities that exist here in the city of East Point with respect to doing business here, you know, whether it's logistics or whether it's retail or whether it's distribution or whether it's manufacturing, whatever it might be. Uh, we want to uh, let them know what kind of resources exist here in the city 
so that we can uh, better target and market to them uh, in order to uh, get them interested in making an investment here in the city of East Point. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, we are measured by you know, business investment opportunities and job creation that we can bring here. And of course, growing the tax base. And that of course is our mission each and every day that we, uh, that we come in. And of course, we've been having some really, really good successes and we want to continue that process without a doubt. Well, you also have your business incentives that uh, yes. you've also implemented as well. Yes, I know yes, that's yes. That's something you may want to talk about. Yeah, we uh, we we recently uh, and successfully rolled out our small business incentives mm -hmm. uh, that really looks at incentivizing businesses that have fewer than ten employees. Mm -hmm. So, if anywhere between one and nine employees, uh, those incentives are meant specifically for you. And uh, of course, it means that. Um, you can take advantage of our enterprise zone, our uh, uh, facade improvement incentive, our initial business license incentive, for example, just to name a few. But uh, what we do is uh, uh, we want to invite our, our small businesses um, uh, that are in business already or that may not be in business already, anyone who's thinking about doing business. Um, and not just for small businesses, uh, medium and, and large size as well. But in this case, we rolled out our small business incentives. Mm -hmm. And so for anyone that is interested in doing business in the mm -hmm. city of East Point, we want them to pay us a visit because we would n love nothing more than to sit down with them and talk to them about our incentive program, how we can help them uh, uh, be successful here in, this, in the city of East Point, uh, because these programs are geared towards doing just that. And so we're very excited about those. You know, Mason, there's another thing. I know we could talk on this today, but you've also had your symposium recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was last week. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed by the individuals you had that attended the event and who were party uh, uh, partners in the, in the process of making that work. Yes. You want to talk a bit about that? Yes, you know, and the, and the thing about our uh, Small Business Incentive, this was, as a matter of fact, our third annual. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes it is... Uh, it's very um, uh, interesting as to all of the details that mm -hmm. goes into running a, uh, a, a business uh, enterprise. Uh, things like insurance, for example, um, uh, legal um, uh, you know, guidance and, and advice. Uh, of course, the financials, uh, so having a good public accountant, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, a financial accountant, I should say, that, that, that can mm -hmm. help you manage your business, having a legal, legal advisor, uh, is critical uh, having insurance that can keep you out of harm's way if you run into any uh, any situations whereas it's going to tax you greater. Uh, these are all key elements in terms of uh, uh, running a successful business and these are some of the type of things that we actually cover. Marketing your business which is a bit very big one because I mean most small businesses will get into a situation of really just focused on running and operating the business but they don't have a whole lot of time to market as they should. And so we share ideas with them uh, in terms of how to better market their products so that they can be um, uh, prosperous in their, in their efforts. Now, one great thing that comes out of the Small Business Symposium is that we also share with the businesses that are there how they can do business with the city. And of course, you alluded to that earlier as well with respect to you know, the city hall. Um, a lot of these businesses look for those opportunities, but they don't necessarily know um, what resources uh, we have available, how to tap into uh, that, uh, that area. And so we give them uh, all of the information uh, with respect to how to go about doing that. And so we have a great, great uh, procurement operation here, program, and of course, uh, it's a wealth of information when these small businesses come out to be a part of that small business symposium. You know, it's interesting because you had one visitor there, Maceo, I think it was a dance company, I guess it was, and she was she was asking some questions, and yes. and yes. some that just, I could see was just like enlightening her about yes. what things that she needs to consider. There you go. And there you go. just so what you're saying is a perfect example of how that forum, that symposium, helps to give you an opportunity to expand and grow their business and be knowledgeable on the front end. Right, absolutely. It's, it's a great um, uh, business to business networking right. type of um, uh, environment as well. So oftentimes uh, these small businesses will show up and uh, before they leave they find that there's a, a business connection opportunity here mm -hmm. and it provides a lot of follow-up opportunities mm -hmm. to expand then their business operation because 
uh, at the end of the day, you want to be able to take something away, whether it's just a nugget or two. Mm -hmm. But you want to be able to take that and apply it moving mm -hmm. forward. And so that's what these in, these uh, the the yearly symposiums that we conducted and continue to conduct are meant to do. You know, you you mentioned I know earlier about the Malu Point project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how that got to to be where it is today, because there was a process that you were involved in yes. that brought yes. that business here. I think people yes. know about that. Did you want to talk a little bit yeah, about that? Yeah, well, well, so with that that project, of course, um, you know, planning aside, there were some other things that they had to uh, to meet, and of course, you know, we we uh, we have a very um, um, uh, fair but stringent uh, permitting process because we want to make sure that uh, what's going up or what's being constructed will be of high quality uh, and and uh, it'll stand up and be sustainable over the uh, the long term. So going through the pro uh, the planning uh, permitting process, of course, they had to go before the uh, downtown architectural review board and they had, of course, um, um, things there that they had to meet. Uh, we have the uh, downtown overlay district. Mm -hmm. They had to meet guidelines there mm -hmm. uh, and, and be in compliance because if they weren't, then that project wouldn't move forward. So there was, yes, there was definitely a process uh, that they had to go through in order for that project to be finally um, allowed to uh, start construction. Uh, but it wasn't an overnight thing. I mean, it was a step-by-step -step, uh, yeah. because we wanted to make sure that we got everything right from the outset moving forward. And of course, now it is uh, close to the end right. of construction, which is very, very exciting. I can see it from my window in the office every day, yeah. and yeah. I tell you, it's impressive. Yeah. yeah, you know, if it wasn't for the work of your team, you and your team, that development team wouldn't have been here. I think that because that how, how did that process become? Well, you know, we, we we conducted the um, uh, the um, uh, real estate board. This is uh, real estate board, yeah. and uh, we invited this group of uh, developers from all over. And one of the developers uh, just happened to uh, be here attending from the city of uh, Savannah. Uh, they have a branch office there. They are headquartered out of uh, Columbus, Ohio, the uh, Woda Development Group. And of course, he saw some of the real estate opportunities that we were uh, displaying and highlighting and took interest to the one downtown, uh, which ends up to be about a 2.2 square, uh, 2.2 mm -hmm. acres, I guess. Uh, of land, and it was some property that was mm -hmm. owned by the uh, uh, Malaloo Church, mm -hmm. Methodist Church, uh -huh. right next door, uh -huh. and a private owner. Uh -huh. um, they, uh, they, they, they expressed interest uh, during the forum and made contact uh -huh. with us, uh, our department, mm -hmm. the very following week, uh, got uh, contact information and began uh, setting up meetings with the uh, business owners, mm -hmm. I mean with the landowners, I should say, uh, of those properties and uh, of course uh, upon doing so they now start looking at you know um, uh, surveying that property mm -hmm. as to how they would like to uh, acquire it and of course uh, uh, go about making and developing this project so it's been a very very exciting process and uh, we'll be very um, uh, eager when it finally uh, comes to uh, the grand opening without a doubt. Well that's a big feather in your cap I think from all the work that you and your staff have done and did you want to mention who your team? Uh, well, yes. Uh, so, are? so we have um, we are we are broken up. Uh, we, there are four of us all together. Uh, of course, I oversee day-to-day -day operations uh, with respect to the department, uh, but we also have Miss Rhonda Appleby, who uh, spearheads and heads up our uh, small business uh, symposium efforts, uh, as well as oversee the administration of the uh, uh, Development Authority, um, uh, East Point Business Industrial and Development Authority. Uh, Aaron Rogers, who is um, uh, the overseer of our uh, uh, film and movie industry, uh, as well as she's our Main Street uh, downtown uh, coordinator, coordinator, and she uh, she has a lot of action and activity going on right. into our downtown area right now. Is she uh, the one who deals with the filming side? Film, of the film as well? deals with the filming, mm -hmm. uh, all of our downtown festivals mm -hmm. such as Fourth of July, Taste of East Point, Destination mm -hmm. uh, East Point. Um, our, uh, our Friday night flicks uh, mm -hmm. for the, the kids and family mm -hmm. and of course there'll be some other things that we'll be doing uh, moving forward uh, mm -hmm. uh, for the downtown area to bring about some excitement mm -hmm. and then of course we have Miss uh, uh, Regina Carter who mm -hmm. uh, really 
tracks uh, and documents all of our commercial and industrial spaces, uh, uh, monitors and, and uh, tracks our uh, enterprise zones and opportunity zones to make sure that we're up to date and in compliance uh, with the state uh, based on their regulations. So, uh, and we all work projects together. Uh, we, uh, we handle everything from, again, the biggest of the big to the smallest of the small ones. So uh, we, uh, we try and cover the, the full gamut of things and activities that we have going on. Well, seeing that this is our first show, did you want to let uh, our viewers know where they can get in touch with you in case they have yes. been sparked by this whole first show? Yes, so oh, I, I would say that you can you can start by uh, going to our website. Uh, we have a newly, as mm -hmm. you well know, mm -hmm. newly designed website that we're very excited about. Uh, you can go there uh, by www.eastpointcity.org and you can also reach our department at 404-270-7057. And of course, we are right downtown uh, in East Point, so we are very easy to find, without a doubt. And uh -huh. to you, I as, mean, as uh, well. we couldn't do it without your fine leadership. So I just say keep up the good work because it is happening, it is working, and things are moving forward. In other, in other words, we are definitely moving the dirt. We are moving the dirt. <laughs> and for our first episode, you know, this is a smash pilot for our first yes. show. I'm excited to see what we're going to be doing next. I am too. I know our viewers would like to keep in touch with us. And so... Uh, we thought uh, we'd like to thank also our team from ICON, well, the James and Eric Hammond, yes, who yes, was our yes. videographers who helped to put this on and thank them for their efforts. I think we got mentioned them. And Shannon Wiggins, who was our new public information officer as well, there you helped go. to make this segment possible. We thank all of them and their support. Uh, we hope to see and be back with you again in the future. Absolutely. And uh, welcome you to Moving Dirt. Moving exactly. Dirt. Yeah. It's great having you. Great to have you here. <laughs> Indeed. Look forward to <laughs> seeing you guys soon. Next time.